And in this video, yeah, more of the same old rubbish, I'm afraid. So here I am, and today I'm joined by this little chap here. Hello. Hello. Now in here, I've got some um, neutral spirit, some vodka, if you like. And this has come from a spirit run that I've literally just finished doing. Yeah, vodka. Not very creative of me, is it? Uh, but if you do look on my previous videos on my channel, yeah, you will notice that I, I do like infusing and flavouring of vodka with all manner of bits and pieces so for me this will come in handy but what's so different about this vodka as opposed to anything else I've done well the thing is this has been made by using the sodium carbonate technique okay that's the video there if you don't know what I'm talking about I used a turbo yeast sugar wash let it ferment, took all that alcohol out of there as quickly as I could by doing a stripping run. And then I water that distillate back down again, add a little bit of sodium carbonate to it, and then do a slow spirit run. And I end up with a super duper neutral spirit. Now this one here is slightly different because when I got to that stage of having the wash, uh, the stripping run, should I say, and watering it back down again with some sodium carbonate i did add in some of my old single distilled turbo yeast spirit so this video is more to do with the data about the previous sodium carbonate distillation run and this sodium carbonate distillation run okay so what i'm showing you here is a very simple table of some of the information regarding my first attempt at using sodium carbonate in a spirit run and you can see in row number one it took 15 minutes to take off the first 200 ml now that's because what i do is i try and hone the drip rate that's coming out of the still at the beginning which does take a little bit of faffing about but after that I tend to find it doesn't really need any further adjustment. Um, we've got 94% there ABV for the first 200 ml and the kettle temperature of 84 degrees centigrade. Now that's not the head temperature and that's not the liquid that's in the kettle. That is the vapour just above the liquid in the bottom of the kettle. And also we've got the watts there as well as you can see. Well that's the power going through my electrical element which stayed a very consistent 1428 watts so that shows you i didn't increase the power whatsoever during the course of the run now the red sections there will they indicate the cuts that i didn't use in the final product so from this nine liters of wash at 30 percent abv i ended up with 2.6 liters of a 94 percent abv neutral spirit now, if I use a very simple calculation of the total amount collected divided by the minutes it took to collect that spirit, then it shows me I've got a drip rate of about 20 mil per minute. Right, so if you've managed to understand my silly little uh, table there, I'll move on to my second little table, which is to do with my second attempt of using the sodium carbonate in a spirit run. Now, you, you can compare the two if you like, but there's uh, not really much point because the second attempt was the one I added in some high proof ABV spirit into this to uh, bulk out the volume a little bit more. But um, the same kind of, you know, stats apply with the uh, temperatures and the ABVs and everything and the red sections that obviously I didn't use. Um, but what you will notice is the watts there slightly higher i did run this a bit quicker so for this 11 liters at 35 percent abv wash i ended up with 3.2 liters at 94 percent abv with a slightly quicker takeoff rate of 27 milliliters per minute hey 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 hey, hey. so here i am with my two sodium carbonate distilled spirit runs my first attempt and my second attempt 
albeit not much of my first attempt left now. Uh, but they're both very comparable. They worked very well. They're super smooth, silky, dare I say sexy. No, let's not do that one. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. You're sat there going, yeah, but there's loads of different ways of making a vodka. And there is, and I think I said it in my video when I made this stuff, I can't see myself ever going down the road of making uh, like a wheat vodka, a rye vodka, a potato vodka, all those other stuff. Primarily because of all the faff assing about you have to do to get to a final product. For me, Mr. Lazy, I like to keep things very, very simple. And this sodium carbonate techniques works for me personally, and I end up with an absolute banging neutral spirit at the end of it. So there we have it. Anyway, that's my conclusion on this one again. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the data involved in this one. And until next time, make sure you keep on shining.